Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Governor Jerry Brown is in hot water as California is about to face hundreds of lawsuits. Over the last few years, patriotic Americans have been shocked by California. This super liberal state has continued to sabotage its own people. They have neglected important issues in order to prop up failed democratic policies. Their citizens die, as they spend millions protecting illegal aliens. It's clear that the priorities of California lawmakers are completely out of whack, but it looks like they are about to face the music, for at least one issue. If you've been watching the news, you know California keeps popping up. It's not because the state is doing so well. The liberal legislators, led by Governor Jerry Brown, have made it their goal to oppose President Donald Trump. On an almost daily basis, they pass laws and resolutions aimed at defying the president's plan to make America great again. It's almost as if Jerry Brown wants California to fail. In recent months, California legislators have passed laws that hurt their own citizens. They pump more money into programs that protect illegal aliens. And, of course, they made the entire state a sanctuary for criminal aliens. Meanwhile, needed infrastructure is crumbling. While the Democrats wasted time on fruitless plans, the state was literally falling apart. They were unable to confront deadly wildfires and the mudslides that followed. Now, it looks like all that neglect is coming around to bite them in the end. The city of Oroville is suing the state for lying about their neglect. Some say it will be the first of hundreds. The city of Oroville will file the first of what could be hundreds of lawsuits against the state of California for allegedly lying about known dangerous conditions at Oroville Dam. With America's tallest dam on the verge of collapse last February 7, the Butte County Sheriff issued an emergency evacuation order affecting approximately 225,000 downstream residents. That was after they had been reassured for by state authorities that there was no risk of Oroville Dam's failure after its main spillway collapse. Since the February incident, California's Department of General Services, which manages government claims for state liability, has denied over 500 claims, including those of the city of Oroville. The total value of claims denied by the state for farmers and local government is about $1.2 billion. Source, Briet Bart. $1.2 billion is no chump change. That is most likely the tip of the iceberg of the damages caused by the dam collapse. But, the state of California can't pay those claims. Why? Because they spent all of their money on frivolous programs and illegal aliens. Hey! The brain-dead hippies in San Francisco need their benefits checks. So what if homes were destroyed by a neglected dam? It looks like a study has been released that will blast a hole in the state's defense. According to the summary, the Oroville Dam spillway incident was caused by a long-term systemic failure of the California Department of Water Resources DWR, regulatory and general industry practices to recognize and address the inherent spillway design and construction weaknesses, poor bedrock quality and deteriorated service spillway chute conditions. Source, Briet Bart. You see, the dam collapsed because the people responsible for its care did nothing. The DWR was designed to do that very thing. How could they have neglected the maintenance of this huge dam for so long? These problems didn't happen overnight. Like everything else, regular inspections and repairs are needed. That would have prevented a disaster. But, most likely, the DWR did not have the staff or funds to do so because California was spending it elsewhere. The American Society of Civil Engineers ASCE, warned in 2013 that California has a $65 billion infrastructure investment deficit relating to its dams, waterways, airports roads, bridges, seaports and tunnels. US's infrastructure report card rated La Vise, flood control as California's most neglected infrastructure sector, earning a national low D grade. Source, Briet Bart. That was in 2013, four years before the collapse. During that time, California ignored the warnings. Instead of making it a priority, they focused on other issues. Now, 
Jerry Brown and his legislators continue to neglect the needs of his state. People and businesses are leaving in droves because of high taxes, abusive policies, and ongoing neglect, neglect that led to a devastating dam collapse. The Oroville lawsuit will be the first of many. People will not sit by and watch California get destroyed. The state's leaders must be held accountable for such an avoidable tragedy.